To fully appreciate this amazingly diverse country, you need to move beyond the major cities. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 regions of India you need to visit in 2021. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're highlighting some of India's most compelling regions that you should consider adding to your travel itinerary. This is a nation with a lot of regionally specific cultures, not to mention diverse landscapes. So the more you travel within the country, the richer your overall experience will be. Number 10. Delhi We begin with the region of India that contains the nation's capital, New Delhi. This is a frequent source of confusion for travelers. So to be clear, Delhi is a city and union territory, while New Delhi is a district within the city. And it's this district that serves as the capital of India. Second only to Mumbai in terms of population, the city of Delhi proper is home to approximately 11 million people, with 26 million in the greater metropolitan area. The city is, for better or worse, an incredibly overwhelming experience. While some find the hustle and bustle claustrophobic, the area's long history, it's been inhabited for roughly 2,500 years, makes it an important cultural hub. Delhi's many bazaars and multi-story markets make it a shopaholic's delight. It's also one of the few places where regional cuisines from across India can be sampled all at once. Number 9. Himalayan North The Himalayas are arguably India's most prominent geographic feature, touching 11 of the country's 36 union territories and states. But nowhere in the country does this iconic mountain range make a bigger impression than in the Himalayan North region which includes the states of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and the disputed Jammu and Kashmir. This is a land of rugged mountain peaks, rolling green hills, pristine forests, and awe-inspiring valleys. And thankfully, much of it is protected by various national parks, including Valley of Flowers, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Uttarakhand, Hemis and Kishtwar in Jammu and Kashmir, and Great Himalayan National Park in Himachal Pradesh. For those who can't get enough of natural splendor, the region of Andhra Pradesh should also be added to your itinerary. Or for a change of pace after your Himalayan adventure, take a trip south to explore Punjab and Haryana. Number 8. Rajasthan For a crash course in India's architectural history and resilience against the elements, Rajasthan is a must-visit. Taking up over 10% of the entire country, it's the nation's largest state, but is only seventh in terms of population. That's because this northwestern region encapsulates the Tar Desert, a large and largely inhospitable area covering 77,000 square miles of land that is also commonly referred to as the Great Indian Desert. You might not want to live there, but it makes for some truly epic expeditions. Rajasthan is also home to not one, but two historic fort cities. Jodhpur was once the capital of the King of Marwar and is known as the Blue City for the color of paint used on many homes. Jaipur, often called the Pink City of India, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Of course, the Golden City, Jaisalmer, is perhaps the most famous of all. Gujarat lies to the southwest and is another region well worth checking out. Number 7. Bihar Wildlife lovers, this one's for you! Among the lushest and greenest regions in India's northeast, Bihar is known for its verdant plains and the abundance of creatures that call the area home. Its crowning jewel, at least as far as conservation is concerned, is the Valmiki National Park, which attracts visitors from around the globe. Not only is it beautiful, but it's home to rhinos, elephants, and Bengal tigers. Then there's the Karwar Lake Bird Sanctuary, which plays host to over 160 varieties of birds, including 106 resident species and 60 migratory ones that pass through. Of course, Bihar is also popular with travelers interested in Buddhism. Destinations within the region, like Bodhgaya, Rajgir, Nalinda, and Vaishali, collectively referred to as the Bihar Buddhist Circuit, were all said to have played an important part in the life of Buddha. Number 6. Madhya Pradesh It's funny, when the average person thinks of India, the mental image that comes to mind is most often the incredibly busy cities of Delhi and Mumbai. But in reality, some large swaths of the country are very much uncrowded and free from urbanization. Within the state of Madhya Pradesh, located in central India, you can visit both Bandavgarh National Park and Panch National Park. 
Between the two, you'll have the chance to spot everything from leopards and tigers to monkey and deer, as well as a wide array of reptiles and butterflies. Perhaps the biggest draw to this area, however, is its far-reaching history. The Bimbetiga rock shelters date back to the Stone Age. Here you can marvel at cave paintings dating back tens of thousands of years. Also known as the heart of India, Madhya Pradesh wears its history proudly, with many relics of empires and dynasties past surviving to this day, like the ancient city of Ujjain. Number 5. Eastern India Those seeking diverse geography will find no shortage of things to see and do in eastern India. The region encapsulates much of the country's central eastern area and includes the states of Jharkhand, Odisha, and West Bengal. Bihar is technically part of the region, but talking about it in the same breath as these other states is simply too much ground to cover at once. In Darjeeling, the high altitudes make it the perfect environment for tea production. In Kolkata, the historic colonial buildings are sure to appeal to both architecture lovers and the uninitiated. Though only the country's seventh largest population center, the city formerly known as Calcutta has distinguished itself as something of a central hub for the arts. Continue further east and you'll enter northeastern India, a rugged and wild land of surreal and epic landscapes. Northeast India, with its flower-covered valleys and soaring mountains, is very much defined by extremes. Number 4. Maharashtra This region requires little introduction. It's home to India's largest city and most populated city, Mumbai. The state of Maharashtra stretches from the western Konkan coastline into central India and is known, geographically speaking, for its Deccan Plateau and Ghat, a mountain range. Maharashtra's strength lies in its diversity. It has a bit of everything to offer. From the palm tree-lined beaches along the coast, to its lush mountainous wilderness, national parks, and the Tadaba and Dari Tiger Reserve, there's no shortage of natural wonder. But it's also incredibly rich in historical attractions, boasting numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Highlights include Elora and Ajanta, the cave temples, the wonderfully uncrowded Kashid Beach, and the Amboli Nature Reserve. Those with a penchant for history and architecture in particular should be sure to check out the Dalatabad Fort and Aurangabad's Bibika Makbara, a mausoleum often compared to the Taj Mahal. Number 3. Kerala Running along the Malabar coast, this Indian state almost feels like its own distinct country. Not only is the pace of life notably slower, but Kerala boasts its own unique cultural heritage that sets it apart. Malayalam This is the state's official language and belongs to the Dravidian ethnic group known as the Malayali, who make up a 96.7% majority of the population. Malayali culture colors every aspect of life. The cuisine in particular could warrant weeks of exploration, as there's much variation from region to region within the state of Kerala. That being said, as a whole, Kerala is known throughout the country and beyond for its tea and spices, with the latter playing an important role in most dishes. The backwaters of Kerala are also considered one of the state's defining characteristics. Of course, once you've thoroughly explored Kerala, be sure to at least pass through the neighboring region of Tamil Nadu. Number 2. Goa Looking to squeeze some beach time into your travel itinerary? You can't ask for much better than Goa. Though it's absolutely tiny compared to the other regions on our list, it packs a whole lot of natural beauty and coastal fun into its relatively modest 1,429 square miles of land. Seafood abounds, the Golden Beach runs largely uninterrupted, and the various communities each have something distinct to offer. But Goa is more than just one big seaside resort. Once a Portuguese colony, that influence continues to be felt throughout the area, not only in the form of architecture, but also in the cuisine. Should you fall in love with India's distinct brand of beach getaway, consider making the journey to the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal. Many of the islands are off-limits to visitors, and most are light on infrastructure, but they're unrivaled in terms of natural beauty, and the diving is world-class. Number 1. Uttar Pradesh The most populous state in the country, Uttar Pradesh is a region whose cultural importance cannot be understated. It encompasses the beautiful and historic city of Agra, which is home to the country's single most cherished site, the world-famous and instantly recognizable Taj Mahal. This white marble mausoleum was commissioned by Shah Jahan, the emperor of the Mughal Empire who reigned until 1658. Taking into account inflation, its construction cost an estimated $916 million. Uttar Pradesh is also home to two other UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 
the town of Fatehpur Sikri and the Agra Fort. Of course, for those who can't get enough historic sites, you should also consider a trip to the Karnataka region in southern India. As for Uttar Pradesh, the region also claims to be the birthplace of the Hindu god Krishna and where Gautama Buddha delivered both his first and last sermon, making it of great religious importance. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.